Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to The Expanse Season 4, Episode 3. Very excited to watch this episode. This season has so far been amazing and I have so many questions. So I'm very excited to get some answers at some point this season, hopefully, maybe next season. I just want answers. That's it. But uh, before we get into this, September 30th is my two-year anniversary. If you, ha if you haven't heard this from any of my other videos, I've been repeating over and over, really you guys... Really, really want to get to 1,000 subscribers by the time I reach my two-year anniversary of my U this YouTube channel, and it's coming up. I really want to get there, and I'm hoping you guys can help. So don't forget to share this video and my channel with everyone you know. And if you haven't subscribed, press that subscribe button down below. And also, as always, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It's just very nice. And then go check out that notification bell button. It's a little bell-looking thing. Press that button if you really want to be notified right away when new videos are uploaded. So you know right away, you can watch it right away. If you really want to know, press that button. Other than that, uh, that's really it. Go down to the description box. There's stuff and information about like social media. If you want to contact me, say hello in any way, feel free. And that's really all. Let's get into this episode, you guys. Here we go. You fucking kill Coop. You gonna kill us all? Oof. I think you might just kill everyone if you had the choice. The lightning is moving in a straight line. That's really creepy. The lightning is moving in a straight line. That's weird. It's going somewhere. But lightning coming your way. It's gonna hit the settlement. Hey, Amos, get the cover now. How do you know where lightning's gonna strike? Oh, oh. So the lightning was like sent there. Oh, that's great. He's such an asshole. Yeah, even she's like, you're not gonna help these people. They were there first. And you may have had something to do with the crowd. So we just killed them? Just like that. Maybe yeah, they're not, they're not governed by any laws down there. It's like the Wild West. They can literally do anything without any repercussion, really. It's not good. I'd say that's fair. I don't have it. But you do have access to the military storage rooms at the shipyard. Oh, Lord. Do is Ugh, Bobby, you should have just gone with Chris Jen. Let your family deal with their own shit. And it's ours. Put it down now. Sure. Ooh! I love him! Ooh! I love him. Just let him take it. Murtry said... Yeah, I'll square it with Murtry. I love him. Because it's Murtry? The name just keeps changing to me. I needed some. Tell me what his name is. Murcho, Murphy, I don't Marty. So does that mean we're not fucking? <laughs> That's all Amos cares about. No, it no, <laughs> I guess. Who could say no to that? Like my god. Ooh, I love him. <laughs> She's like, who the fuck is this dude? No one knows, but I love him for it. Uh. That's what our citizens call it, in case you forgot. Does its name change what's happening there? <laughs> of course not, because we don't- Oh, my queen. Our species. Right up to the moment that our species ceases to exist. I look forward to having this debate with you. Ugh, Nancy. Just because you've been doing something for so long doesn't mean it's the good thing to do or the small thing. Like, there are other ways to do things. Better ways. There's always a better way. A detective will see you now. This is a very weird way to report it. It feels so informal. Or more formal, I mean. Like, weird. I hope you now understand the severity of Situation. Oh, it's so cool that you got like privacy mode like that. That's really cool. Coming in for David or for me, bring a gun. I don't want to kill him. Oh, I love Bobby so, so, so much. Your nephew back safe and sound. I love that we're getting more of like more of her and plenty of her this season so far, but 
I just want it back in space. I want it with the Rosie crew. That's like my dream team there. Oh shit. Is the planet like ripping in half or something? Opening up? Yes. Is it really not a planet? Is it all protomolecule? Like metal? When you undermine my team's authority, you put everybody here in danger, including your own crew. Mm, no. Is that a threat? Mm, <laughs> it better not be. I'm just making sure you understand this. Oh, he has such a punchable face. Like, my God. You have all these excuses that make you seem right. But the truth is, your dick got hard when you smoked that. Oh! Yeah. Oh. It's true, though. You could tell it in his Sweet. eyes. He was hoping to shoot the guy. He wanted to. Any excuse. Someday I think you and I are going to end up bloody. Yeah. How about that? Yeah, go ahead. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm not scared for Amos. I know he can defeat this guy. I don't doubt it for one second. And I can't wait for At some point this season, they're going to have a fight. And this Mucho guy is going to be dead. And I'm going to be clapping. Our friends have been doing quite a bit of digging into Nancy Gao. I know all of this. From rags to riches, top of her class, blah, blah. <laughs> I love her. Attached to her application from former Secretary of Education, Javid, formally requesting that her application be given special That's weird. Does she sleep with him? Jump Ooh! She cheated. Tell the everyone that. Spread the word. <laughs> yep. Where's Miller? He hasn't appeared yet, which is a little fishy. Ever since he did did that thing, he hasn't been there. What is he up to? I don't know what Bobby's planning, but I hope she's thinking smart, thinking right. Don't do anything stupid. What is that? Wait, Belter? Isn't that a belter thing? How are there belters on Mars? Or is it OPA? It's OPA, not belters. Okay, I don't remember. What I, I thought it was belters. Those little neck those neck tattoos like that. I don't want any more violence. Just true. That's not true. He does not. He just like Amo said, he wants people to die. He wants to kill people. He doesn't give a crap about peace. Men who think our lives are disposable for your own gain. Any three of mine in the ground before they even set foot on. That doesn't give you the right to play judge, Ooh. jury, and executioner. I love Naomi. Here. Oh God, calm down. You're not gonna. Oh no. Me. Oh no. Her heart. Her heart. <sighs> Shit, Naomi. the fuck? Is it something that came out of the ground? Oh shit. Oh no. Hi. Where's David? Someone's oh god. This was a one and of deal. course, yeah. There's something we need to discuss. My buyers. Ooh. Oh, I was right. After what they did to you. You don't owe this place anything. That's true. But, no, yeah, she's not a criminal, no. It's technically true, she deserves better, but she's not a f f petty criminal, no. You'll be dead, just like them. It's tough, Naomi, she really wants to be there, but it's not safe for her. She can do a good job and do what she needs to do from up there. Okay, so that thing is like spinning around. It's like, um, freaking Hunger Games, catching fire. Where is Mitler, though? Is he no longer in communication? He did what he needed to do. 
We are witnessing something that human beings have never seen before. And your first instinct is to destroy <sighs> Yeah, I kind of want to see what happens yeah, at the same time if it's endangering people's lives. It's... Oh, I'm nervous. What's going to happen? I feel like something crazy is going to happen. Oh. Okay, it worked. It stopped it. Oh shit. It's fully exploded now. Nasasa. Come we go. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh shit. Really? They technically didn't even get a chance to do anything to you. My god. Just killed four more of them. This guy is crazy. I hope that answers your question. He's psychotic. Are we ending another episode with him shooting someone in the head? My god, how many episodes can we end with him shooting someone? Lord. <laughs> this man is insane. This... Murcha Murphy Marty guy. <laughs> I hate him. He creeps the fuck out of me. He's evil. I don't like him. Ugh. Can he just be dead yet? He's gonna die eventually. Can they just kill him off now to so get done with? I know he's gonna have to die by the end of the season. Hopefully. Alright, let's get to my notes. Another great episode. I feel like I didn't take as many notes because I was just so into the episode. Um, but, let's see. We have new Terra stuff. Uh, Bobby and then Christian. Christian's going to be on bottom, even though she's my queen and she had amazing stuff. Well, not amazing stuff this episode, but the stuff, she had great lines this episode. She still didn't have that much compared to all those. Bobby would be second. No. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna say New Terra second, and then Bobby is number one this episode. I just really liked it. So let's start with, um, what did I say? Christian. Okay, Christian. Mm. All right, so we have Christian, basically, this is politicking time for her. She is back to go not to war, but to battle with this Nancy chick who wants her job. Nancy is underestimating Christian because Christian will take her down. And she's Nancy. Nancy. Who would you rather have as president? Or secretary? Nancy or Christian? Uh -huh, you. Yeah. Doy. Um, not much with her, really, besides that stuff. And, um, and the fact that Nancy was covering up or got into, like, the apprenticeship by cheating, by skipping the line, and now Christian's leaking it, so, yes, yes, queen, yes, I would so do the same thing. There's no love or friendship or anything in politics. Go for the go. Okay. Let's move on to New Terra, the Rossi crew, and all that fun stuff. So, we basically saw it off right where we ended with Murphy having shot that guy right in the head. Who we kind of threatened, but not really. It wasn't like a direct or even like sideways threat. It was kind of a pathetic threat, to be honest, but this. Mucha Murphy Marty guy psychotic, so he did that. And then we get to Holden and Alex and them having to deal with the lightning. And the lightning hits the camp and it's going like in a direct line and then stops at these islands on the other side of the planet, which is very weird. I don't get what the fuck is going on with that or with anything on this new planet. Like, I don't, I don't know. But then the question comes up, can we trust Miller? 
this middle figure that Holden's in the scene, and where the fuck is he now? I was thinking the whole episode, like, we haven't seen him, which is weird. And then he was trying to get a hold of him, and he still couldn't get him. So is he not in Holden anymore? And can we trust what he said? Because after what he's done, now there's been lightning and this weird spiral thing going around. Because for some reason, this tower, I guess, emerged and started spinning and headed in the direct way of the camp. Oh, it was going to clip the camp. So I wonder where it was actually headed. Maybe it was headed to where the other tower was. I don't get it, though. I have no idea why any of this is happening, and that's all I really want to know. Oh. And then we have uh, Dr. Uh, Koye. I didn't know how to spell it, so I went by sound. I'll have to look it up after, but Koye. I like her so far. Um, she's the one sleeping with Amos, so I'm a bit jealous. Cause damn, Amos. Oh. Speaking of Amos, though, we had a lot of Amos this episode, and my god, he's... This season, he has gotten so hot. Like, I, I don't know if it's the longer hair, his attitude, something about him. Just, he seems so hot this season. Like, my God. The fact that we also got to see him have, like, a sex scene may have helped. Damn. Mm. Dr. Okoye is lucky. Lucky, lucky bitch. But, um... Amos is basically just a big badass this episode. He is staring down this Murphy, Mutcher, Marty guy and giving him these, like, looks. And he's, like, kind of looking him up and down, being like, who the fuck are you? And then he actually confronts him and is like, I know who you are. You didn't just kill this because of the reasons you're... You didn't kill that guy just because, like, he, you were afraid or anything. You killed him because you wanted to and you wanted any excuse. So you antagonized him. You, you pushed him, and you wanted to get that so you'd have a good excuse. Not even that good of an excuse, honestly, but good enough of an excuse to shoot him. He seems like a full-on killer, and he, as he said, he got a boner from killing. I thought that was the perfect way to describe it, because that's how I felt when he did it. He, he got joy from that. It's creepy. That creepy blank stare, but like small grin. Ugh, it's, it's really bothersome. I don't like it. And then we even had Amos fighting some of his guys to get a generator that they wouldn't give him, which was stupid. They thought they could take on Amos. That was cute. And even Dr. Okoye helped him with that and let him have it, which I thought was sweet. I think he, and she, I think she's not completely on board with what Murphy, Mercher, Marty guy is saying. Same with, um, oh no, oh no, that was... That was different. My bad. Dr. Okoye. That's not Dr. Okoye. Okay, so Dr. Okoye that I've been talking about is not the same person. I was I was like the soldier woman they must slept with. I don't know her name. Did I write it down last episode? Maybe I did. Probably not because I didn't really know any names. Um, no, I just have a new goal for her. Yeah, so she's the one I've been talking about. So just place the names, whatever her name is. She seems cool. She seems to not completely trust Murphy, Mucha, Marty guy. But, and she's lucky bitch for sleeping with Amos. But now let's actually get to the real Dr. Okoye. I do like her. And she, I, as she even said in the episode, she's like, she seems a little afraid of Murphy, Mucha, Marty guy. And rightfully so. And... I like her. She seems smart. She knows Holden and Alex are lying to her about something. She's very much a scientist. She wants to see. She wants answers. She wants to know the truth. So I'm I'm with her on that. I want to too. Which is why like, ugh, it's iffy about the whole blowing that thing up. Cause I'm like, I kind of wanted to see where it was gonna go and what it was gonna do. <sighs> but now we may not know. Hmm. I was curious. I was on her side there. Not for good reasons, though. But that thing caused, like, an earthquake. So, yeah, there's that. Um, Naomi. Naomi is struggling. And the even the doctor lady of the settlers was like, hmm, you should probably go back up. 
to space because this is not good. We've had other people that had problems and they died. So Naomi, I know it's a struggle. She really wants to stay there, help. She really wants to be on the planet for the first time. But if you can't do it, it's not worth dying. It's not worth it. Everyone will understand. You can do good stuff up in space too. Okay. Let's get on to Bobby. Bobby. Roberta. Okay. This episode, it was a good amount of Bobby. I liked it. I'm still sad that she didn't choose to go with Christian. Really sad. But I get her staying with her family trying to help David. And David, of course, needed the help because he gets taken. And Bobby has to help steal some stuff to get him back. And she has this, like, she, I'm seeing her go through this dilemma of, like, why keep being this perfect Martian and being good and trying to do the best thing at what for Mars if Mars and everyone on it is not going to treat you well. And they don't see the point of you being there. And they're not going to. And they're wasting your potential. I hope she doesn't try to go for helping um, the criminals and being a criminal. Because I, I, I do not want her to be a criminal. But I hope she realizes by this that maybe she needs to take Christian up on an offer. And I'm hoping that's what it means. But that little look she gave. I'm hoping she gets up like, okay. Yeah, Marsh, Marsh, the Martians, Mars, they're not going to treat her well. They're not going to do her any favors and she could go criminal and do all that stuff but that's not gonna help anyone either so I'm hoping she realizes if she goes to Christian she can actually help people maybe or maybe go to the Rosie crew that would be my dream if she went to the Rosie help them out somehow I don't know how she would get there and all but she could find a way I believe in her okay that's really all for this episode Really good episode. Can't wait for the next one. I can't believe already three episodes in. Oh, there's only ten episodes these seasons now. I'm almost caught up. Um, very excited. Very excited to continue. And before I say goodbye and everything, don't forget, September 30th is two month, a two year anniversary of this channel. And I want to get to 1,000 subscribers, so let's get there. Less than two months. By the time this comes out, it'll be like a month. So come on. Share this video, my channel, with everyone you know, you love, you hate, acquaintances, share it. And also, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video. Comment down below what you thought about this episode. And yeah, don't spoil anything, of course, but say hi to me if you want on my social media. Social, the links are down below in the description box, okay? Thank you for watching so much. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.